So this is a three hour workshop and really focuses on the culture of email within organizations. What we mean by that is all of the things that go slightly unsaid, all of those little aspects of how quickly should I respond to an email? Should I send back a one liner that just says thanks, which we know is polite, but also starts to clog up everybody else's inboxes as well. When should we use reply all versus just replying to one person? All of those small little issues that together take people's attention away from the bigger picture, stop people having the time and the space to really get the most important work done and ultimately cause more distractions in organizations. So if that sounds like something that is happening within your organization and you'd like to talk to us, then what we'll do in this workshop is we'll spend some time with you looking at some of these issues, but then spend some time developing an email manifesto. So what are the ground rules that you need to make email one of the most productive and least distracting tools that we have at our disposal to really boost and enhance productivity? So if that sounds of interest to you, then talk to our dedicated logistics team about how we've done this before. We've either done this before, where we've done rollouts into whole organizations where everybody has been through the program. We've also done it where, in a slightly more light touch way, we've had key volunteers who are the cultural carriers within the organization, almost do it on behalf of everybody else and then report back and say, this is the new manifesto that we're gonna take forward. But a really key part of the delivery of this is that at the end, we help you to communicate this new email manifesto to the rest of the teams, the rest of the organization. So we're saying we have a new way of working, a new way of thinking about email, and one that will ultimately lead to much less distraction and much more productivity. So talk to our dedicated logistics team about how we can make that happen. Also about the return on investment of this session. And if you want to find out more, you'll find right here on the site, the PDF session overview with all of the different learning objectives as well.